Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our topic, Introduction to Chemistry. And uh, basically, uh, we are reviewing uh, the relationship between chemistry and the primary school science, whereby we are highlighting some of the topics learned in primary science that relate to, to chemistry. So now we are going to look at the various methods that are used to separate mixtures. So in the separation of mixtures, uh, there are some methods of separating mixtures that were learned in primary science. And these include We have decantation, we have filtration, seething, uh, we have uh, distillation, evaporation, So all those are some of the methods of separating mixtures that were learned at primary science and they will also be learned in more details as we go on with the study uh, of chemistry. Also something that was learned uh, is about uh, the conductors and non-conductors. whereby we said that uh, we have some substances that have the ability to conduct an electric current or that have the ability to conduct electricity, whereas we have others that are not able to conduct electricity. And we can say that conductors are those substances and especially metals especially metals that conduct electricity or you can say that allow electricity to pass through them allow electricity to pass through them We can have e.g. copper wires. We use copper wires in electricity because those copper wires are conductors. They are conductors, they can allow electricity to pass through them. We also have other substances that are non-conductors. Non-conductors are those substances that do not allow electricity to pass through them. We also call them insulators. They are also called insulators. And we have EG plastics. We have examples of something like wax, plasticine, ETC. So those substances will not allow electricity to pass through them. So they are referred to as insulators. And of course, they are the ones that we use to cover the conductors so that it becomes easier 
for us to handle uh, the conductors. We use the insulators to cover the conductors. Then the other area that we are going to review is the issue of drugs and drug abuse. This is also another area that was uh, learned in primary science and it entails uh, chemistry or it entails the application of chemistry. Uh, we want to ask ourselves, uh, what is a drug? What is a drug? We have different kinds of drugs. Some uh, that are used for medical purposes. Others are used for leisure purposes, uh, but uh, basically we need to understand what is a drug. And a drug is a chemical, is a chemical substance uh, that is either natural or manufactured. Is a chemical substance that is either natural or uh, manufactured, which when taken into the body, it interferes with the way the body functions. So when you take drugs, they interfere with the functioning of the body. And therefore we can say that a drug is a chemical substance, either natural or manufactured, which when taken into the body interferes with the body's functioning or it alters with the body's functioning. Uh, it's also important to uh, discuss drug abuse so we have drugs and drug abuse and you can say that drug abuse is the use of drugs for the wrong purpose. For the wrong purpose. Or without a prescription. So if a drug is used for the wrong purpose, such as leisure, then that is drug abuse. If a drug is used without a prescription, from a qualified medical doctor, then that is drug abuse. And drug abuse uh, without prescription can either be an overdose or an underdose. An overdose or an under dose. So that shows that uh, the prescription has not been followed. And that's why it's necessary that a prescription is given to guide uh, the patient on how to use the particular drug. So we can also uh, look at uh, the commonly abused drugs. commonly abused drugs and their effects. Uh, some of the commonly abused uh, drugs, uh, we have uh, cigarettes, Uh, of course, cigarettes uh, 
contain very many chemical substances. Uh, for example, uh, contains tar that causes lung cancer. Also contains nicotine that causes addiction whereby a person cannot function without uh, the drug. So cigarettes or basically tobacco. Uh, we have uh, alcohol is also a commonly abused uh, drug and this one in large quantities causes liver failure, loss of memory and so on and so forth. We have uh, Mira, also known as Hat, commonly abused by the youth. And of course, uh, these ones are they are stimulants. that can cause loss of sleep, what is known as insomnia, stomach ulcers, etc. So basically we have that, we have bang or marijuana and this one causes uh, mental disorders and can even lead to depression. So those are the commonly abused drugs and their effects. And those are the only, not the only ones. We have other drugs include we have cocaine, mandrax, heroin, ETC. So basically, that's about uh, the commonly abused drugs and generally drugs and their effects. So the assignment So the first question, what is a drug? Two, name four commonly abused drugs uh, by youths and their effects. We'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.